my name is Ray Archuleta. I'm a soil health specialist. I'm responsible for uh, the states of Arkansas, Mississippi, and Louisiana, and I also have national responsibility for teaching soil health. Um, what we are doing now is we're, we're creating a soil health movement, a very, very powerful movement where we are teaching farmers how to emulate natural ecosystems and how we are using multi-species cover crops, integrating animals, we're using them in strip-till uh, uh, environments and also in no-till environments. So, but the whole foundation of the movement is shifting the way one thinks about the system, thinking more in an ecological and biological way. And I think that's the foundation, changing the way the operator thinks about the system. My biggest and most uh, important factor that I promote is you need to understand the soil is a living ecosystem. It's alive. Once the farmer understands that that soil is alive, you're very cautious about how you use your, your strip till, your no-till equipment, or your, your tillage equipment. You're very cautious how you use your fungicides, the insecticides, uh, the herbicides, the chemical fertilizers. You approach it with a lot more sensitivity, a lot of cognizance, consciousness on how you're dealing with the system. So that's what we're trying to do is get the, the producer to change the way they look at the system and, rem, and, and not to promote single practices. This is not about cover crops. This is not about cows by itself. It's not about strip till. It's not about no till, but it's a whole systems thinking about using the processes like conservation planning or the tools like, um, again, uh, strip till. These are tools. Understand the difference between process and tools. But what I want to facilitate is an ecological understanding. That's what we're trying to promote through the soil health movement. If I was to use one word to um, capture soil health, mim mimic nature or biomimicry. Mimic the biology or eco-mimicry. Mimic the house. That's what this is about teaching farmers how to emulate the natural ecosystem. The more we emulate it, the more it works for us because nature is self-healing, self-regulating. So if we can learn how to use the covers more wisely, how to bring cows into the system, how to bring more biology into the system, the system will self-heal, self-regulate, and then we can cut our inputs for our producers. If I was pushed to a corner and said, Ray, if you had one tool, one conservation tool, what would you use? And I said, cover crops. See, because I know I can farm with a lot of less tools, but you cannot farm without a living plant. The living plant feeds the soil ecosystem. The plant captures the sun, converts it into liquid sun, feeds the microbes and the, bi and the biology. They run the system. 90% of nutrient cycling is biological. If I can get organic farmers to till less and put more covers, if I can get my no-tillers to spray less and put the covers, if we can cover the land and restore the vegetation even in our range lands and our grasslands and manage the, the carbon more properly, which can only come from plants, it changes everything. It's a game changer. So it's about using biological means to bring those um, enhanced uh, ecosystem processes. That's what this is about. It's about the plant. The plant is very, very powerful. In fact, I would argue the plant and the soil are one. Without plants, without soil biology, you just got geology. It, it, they're intimate. You cannot separate them. I think the number one thing is you have to educate yourself. You have to come to a point you realize that nature is the template. Once you understand the way that natural system works, it's exciting because what we're trying to do is emulate it. It's been around for a long, long time. We're trying to capture into that wisdom. It's innate wisdom that's designed that the Creator put out there. We're trying to emulate that. And so I think the, the, for a producer, the most important thing is to start becoming more of a better reader. And if you're not a reader, uh, go tap into YouTube. Uh, there's a lot of, of 
of the right teachers that are promoting emulating nature. You can know, you can start watching videos on with Gabe Brown and Dave Brandt, or a lot of us that are going into this ecologically driven paradigm. There's a lot of good information out there. Start educating yourself. Don't depend on me. Don't depend on anyone. Be well informed. And what I'm beginning to observe as I go through the whole country that. Um, a lot of our producers don't even know how the soil ecosystem works, even our own employees or even myself. We're just, we're just tapping in to the, the beginning of this. I mean, we are searching into a universe that we know very little about. But we do know that there are principles and patterns that do work and we've seen them. They're self-evident. Uh, the natural system's covered 24-7. That's a principle. Uh, it loves diversity. That's a principle. These principles are self-evident. They're there and they've been very well documented and they've been in the in the ecology literature for a long, long time. So uh, the one thing I promote is educate yourself. Be well informed. Start being a student. Be an observer. Um, that, I think that's where I would start is start being an observer and a student and start hanging around the right people to have that same paradigm. Because it's important that you have people that think like you do. And, or, or you, or the, and so that's what I would encourage. You start building soil health communities. Start uh, promoting this kind of thought process. Putting ecology first and biology and then use the other stuff in, with wisdom. That's what I would be doing.